welcome back everyone so I recently made a video about how to set up Windows 11 without um, a Microsoft account and um, I got a few comments saying that whenever you try to do the shift F10 it's not working in the new Windows 11 so I'm gonna do this in real time to see if exactly what happened if it's true and um, if it's something is blocking it so I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna do a search for Windows 11 download from Microsoft and we're starting it here so direct site if you go to it I'm gonna click here and we're gonna do the installation in instance so you're gonna create a media so I'm gonna do the media or you can actually download the ISO so we want the ISO multi edition so let's go ahead and do the ISO and it's gonna validate for a little bit um, so ISO we're gonna select English confirm okay so right here now it says download Windows 11 English 64 bits so we're gonna go ahead and download right here and as you can see it's 6.3 gigs it's gonna take me about 20 minutes for this download so we're gonna run through this real quick and we're gonna do a fresh install notice I'm not changing anything Uh, as you can see, we're wrapping up for the download, so it's on touch. So uh, I want to do this as pure as possible to make sure that um, I want to see if there's an error or something that uh, they were talking about. So we're going to just redo this whole setup. So about 17 seconds left, and then we should be able to start um, implementing so fresh install from Microsoft itself um, latest version right there update 23 h2 and it's done so we're gonna switch back over to my lab and we're going to go ahead and upload um, this VM this actually ISO into my my box so I actually have it on this machine so for test purposes um, since that's 22H2 and this one was supposed to be 23H2 so we're gonna see if there's a big difference between the 23 so we're gonna go ahead and then up, upload I'm gonna go to downloads and 23H2 right there and click open and we're going to go ahead and upload this and um, watch it run Alright, so as you can see, the upload just finished to my box. So we're going to go ahead and close this out. And now let's run a new test machine. So let's go back over and create a new VM. 105, I'm going to call this. Lab-CL02. Since it's a client machine. I'm going to click next. ISO is going to be the 23H2 because the last one we did was 22H2. So we just download this one. And it's going to be Microsoft Windows. I'm going to click next. Storage, we'll put it on the local, which is fine. And we're going to go ahead and click next. I want to change this to at least 80 because the last time you install we did an install, it required at least 52 gigs to install Windows 11 now. So let's push it up a little bit. And um, click next. Drop this to two. And um, we can change this here, but this should be fine for now. And let's click next. I'm gonna do 8192, make it a little bit faster. And then click next, and then finish. So this VM is now being installed right here 105 so I'm gonna go to console and wait for it to populate and now we have this boxes ready to go
So let's go ahead and start it up. Press any key. All right, so as usual, we're just going to run through. So I'm going to click next and click install now. Okay, right here, um, product key, don't have one. So in here is where they were saying that they couldn't do a shift F10. It wasn't working. But there you go. Um, I'm already on the main screen, and I'm able to do a shift F10, and I got into um the command prompt so you might need to check your keyboard if you have a certain keyboard maybe the function key is um is probably needed to be used with your your f10 so you might have to do function shift f10 or function f10 uh probably so check your keyboard maybe and see if it's um it could be the keyboard because i just did it right here um shift f10 and i got in so it doesn't matter what part on the screen you are you should still be able to to get in here and do everything that you need to do. So I'm gonna close this and still go through the screen. I don't have a product key. And it's still gave me the version of Windows. I'm just gonna hit Pro right there. Similar to the same old setup that I did before, except the default and then custom install right here, 80 gigs. I'm gonna do new, apply, click OK. And then right here, I just want to format this so it's going to be fine for the partition. And it's ready to go, so I can click Next, and then I'm going to just let this install. And even if I try it here too, I'm going to do another Shift F10, it still populates either way here. So I'm um, still is successful throughout the process. So I'm going to let this run again, and we'll be right back. All right, so the process still running here. Just checking in so you guys can see nothing has been um, tainted. Same process, same thing we've been doing. It's at 30% pretty much, and we're going to keep going. All right, so we are finishing up. As you can see, it's installing updates, and we'll be almost there. All right, so if we continue to look um, back into the new screen, which is the 23H2, the latest version of um, Windows 11. And same thing, similar to the old screen, we'll try to set this up and go through the process. It's gonna run through as usual, like we did before. Okay, select the keyboard that you, you choose to. Second keyboard will skip. And then this is a part of checks for update. Okay, once it finds its updates, um, if there's any, it's gonna restart as usual, as you can see. And then it'll go back to the next stage. So this is just like a common practice for um, this part of Windows. So after the updates, it'll get here. And this is where I was saying you can put in a name or skip for now. Um, we're just going to name the device that I wanted to call it anyway, so it's going to be lab.cl02, since I'm making this box, click next. Alright, so here we are now back on the the screen that we were trying to get away from. If we did a setup for home, our network, um, setup for home, or worker school, you get prompted with this screen. This is the actual bypass screen that we were trying to get away from, from signing in. So we're gonna do the same thing that we did before um, and test it. So I'm gonna go back 
And if you remember what I said, you want to make sure that while you're here, this is the, 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 the place that you do it. So the Shift F10 is where I said I hit the keyboard, and there you go. I did a Shift F10, and it came up right here. And then we did IP config slash release. And this is basically just dropping the connection for your internet so that it cannot check to see if you have an internet connection. Once it sees that you have an internet connection, it's going to prompt you to sign in. So once you release your IP from here, uh, one of the easiest things, though, you select whatever you want and you click Next. And then once you can't find the IP, it says, oops, whatever, you lost it, we can try again. Um, but you probably would have to do this step from the beginning before. Um, so see, it doesn't, at this point, this is a different one because it's 23H2. Um, we need it, it's asking us that we need this now to actually sign in, right? So this is gonna be a total issue because if you drop the connection here, it doesn't allow us to to go further. So it seems like we'll have to do the other version to get this fixed. So we're gonna restart this and then I'll be right back and I'm gonna show you how we can fix this before we go forward. All right, so one thing I noticed before I restart this, I wanted to do um, another test. So I did the Shift F10 earlier to release. I'm going to do the Shift F10 again to get back in here. And let's try to see if we can bypass. So I want to type in OOBE, which was the initial code that we needed to do it before on the old 22H2. And we're going to do bypass. So bypass right there and then NRO. Normally, this code does a restart on the box itself, right? So um, instead of me trying to do this, I'm going to try to put this code in, right? So we can bypass it and then hit enter to restart. So once I hit enter, I'm going to hit enter in here. There you go. It should restart itself and then take us back to the screen. So let's restart and, and I'll be right back. Let's see how this goes. All right, so my box is restarting, right? And um, we're waiting for it to get back in. Um, now it should be able to get, okay, so at here, and here I'm gonna do a shift F10 again, just to be sure. And this time I'm gonna also release the, the box from the internet right there. All right, so I'm dropping the connection again before I continue, All right? So I'm going to click yes. Next screen should be the keyboard layout setting that we saw earlier. I'm just going to accept that as a default, and then I'm going to skip. And then now it should say, well, you don't have an internet connection, blah, 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 but it should give me the option. So, yeah, there you go. So now you see it gives me the option saying I don't have internet. Remember before it was forcing me to connect? Now I can say I don't have internet, right? And then what I could do is continue the step with limited setup, which is right here. And then I should be able to put in a name. So there you go. I'm going to name a computer, right? That's going to be the name. No, actually, this is the name of the user, so I'll just do pro admin right there. You click next. And then the password is right here. You can set the password or you can click next. Um, it's up to you. Um, and like I said in the previous video, if you forgot your password or if you didn't set one, there's ways that you can go back through and set it up so i'm gonna just uncheck all of these the same way click accept accept nothing and then we're gonna go back through it's gonna restart again and then this is the part that we wait on it takes a few minutes i don't know why it's 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 built so loaded with 
maybe so much, but it takes forever and ever and ever. So I'm going to pause this until we get back to the main screen. All right, guys. So as you can see, I am back. I'm inside of Windows. Um, it's successfully the installed and everything. If you didn't set a password like I did before in the last video, it's easy to just hit the Windows button and just type password. Then it's going to ask you right up here. You can change your password. And once you click it, you can go in and set a new password. So right here, password, sign in with your password. Right, You can go in and set a password, um, add a password, and then you can set a new password here, however you choose to. So if you didn't set it at the front, you have the option to set it here, and then There you go. Password has set. It's changing password. And then we are in. And Windows is, um, is good to go. And this is how you can bypass it without actually using a Microsoft account. And this is for 23H2. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any comments, please put them below. Like I said, this was mentioned based on the 22H2 video. So I remade the 23H2 for those that have 23H2, H, 23H2, so you can see the difference between the two applications, but the Shift F10 function still works. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate the diligence and staying with me, and you have a great day.